This is a difficult subject, so I'm going to try and break it down in a way that's a little bit different than the traditional bar graphs you may have seen as put out by the Center for Disease Control. First thing I want you to look at is just the timeline of vaccines for pediatric patients. So from birth to six months, they get shots every two months. Then they get a full six months off. Then it's another six months on, but at that point we're just doing every three month vaccinations. Then from a year and a half to four years, they get the whole period off. At four years, they get one series of shots. Then they get another seven years off, and at 11 years old, they have the last of their pediatric vaccines. So the first shot series I wanted to introduce was hepatitis B. It's the only vaccination patients tend to get at birth, and then it's carried out again at two months and then 12 months. So we're going to zoom in on the first section, the first six months, in which a child gets vaccinated every two months. There's the first hep B. The next round of vaccines is at two months. They get the second hep B. Then they get this repeating three vaccine series, the Pentacil, the Prevnar, and the rotavirus. They get it three times at two, four, and six months. Pentacil is a vaccine that is composed of DTaP, Haemophilus, Influenza B, and inactivated polio. Uh, so it's actually a way of giving three vaccines at once. Prevnar is the 13-valent pneumococcal vaccine. If you have trouble remembering which is which with the 23-valent, Prevnar is the 13, and Pneumovax is the 23. Uh, pediatric patients do not get Pneumovax. Um, and you can remember that Prevnar, the one with the least... Protein conjugates, only 13 protein conjugates, has uh, only two syllables. The less number of syllables is the less number of protein subunits. Anyway, so it's Pentacil, Prevnar, and Rotavirus, three times over at two, four, and six months. And then that's it for the first six months. So we're taking a step back out. It's a pretty busy six months as far as vaccines go. Now we're going to zoom back in on the next block, which is the next six months, between 12 and 18 months. That starts with the conclusion of the Hep B series. We're going to give the child a fourth shot of the pneumococcal Prevnar 13. Uh, and we're also going to start two new series which are going to be two shots each. So there's Hep A, and there's the MMR and varicella, which come as a combined vaccine. Hep A is concluded at the end of this six-month period, so at 18 months, and MMR slash varicella are completed at the four-year vaccination. So there's two years, uh, actually three years between the first and last dose of the MMR and varicella. Um, also in that six month block we have the last, the fourth and final dose of Pentacil. So that's the final dose of DTaP, Haemophilus Influenza B. Patient actually doesn't need a fourth uh, polio here. Usually we give that I believe at four years. So um, this is given uh, specifically because it is the manufacturer's recommendation with the makers of Pentacil and also uh, because it's uh, easier on the patient to just get this one shot rather than the individual subunits. So 18 months they only get the Hep A. Now they have another two and a half year break and then they get their four year vaccinations. 
That's the second dose of MMR and varicella. And now we're giving two subunits of that Penticill vaccine. We're giving a standalone polio. That's the final dose of polio vaccine. And we're giving a DPT or a DTaP, uh, which is the fifth. And um, that's it for fourth year vaccinations. <clears throat> At 11 years, um, patient gets their the conclusion of their pediatric vaccinations. So now that's a good seven year break they've had between their fourth year vaccines and their 11 year vaccines. At this visit, we're starting to think about transition into adulthood. So we're going to continue with boosters, uh, Tdap. Um, the tetanus booster and the diphtheria booster will be a constant thing in an adult's life every 10 years. Um, we also want to start to consider uh, the Gardasil series for HPV at 11 years, and then we'd repeat that at an interval of two and then six months, so it's a three-shot series, the Gardasil. Uh, there is some talk of making this a two-shot series now, but that's a discussion for another time. And then we also start the meningococcal uh, vaccine series at 11 years, and we usually give kids a booster uh, around 16 years old or just before starting college. So taking a step back now, that's the entire pediatric vaccination schedule, I hope. Um, it started to make some sense. Um, if you are really trying to get this down, maybe try and uh, watch this another two times and uh, just draw in the, the actual schedule with me while we're talking. <clears throat>